We, drug experts, do not promote the use of legal or illegal psychoactive substances. This is an educational harm reduction AROA. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. Expect us. Hello there, drug experts viewers. I appreciate your presence. Let's begin. Caffeine is a naturally occurring drug and world's popular psychoactive substance. It functions as a stimulant, but due to the legal status of the drug most recreational effects were reduced by the authorities. It's often legal and consumed as coffee, tea or soda. After oil, coffee is the most traded item on earth. Whenever you're awake, a chemical called adenosine slowly accumulates in your brain. And then these adenosine binds to adenosine receptors in brain. That's the natural mechanism of feeling tired and sleepy. When you're finally asleep, the adenosine disappears from your brain by promoting wakefulness. The caffeine in your coffee is incredibly similar to adenosine in structure. Caffeine works its way through your bloodstream into your brain where it competes and binds to adenosine receptors. But because it's not adenosine the sleepiness isn't felt. Adenosine can no longer binds to the receptor because the receptors are occupied by the caffeine. It's great when you're tired. But. When using caffeine for a long time your brain builds up more adenosine receptors, which means you have to consume more caffeine to feel the same effects you felt before. It also means that, when you quit drinking coffee you will feel withdrawal and sick. You will feel more tired like before you ever drank coffee. Caffeine doesn't stop there. It increases the production of flight or fight hormone and adrenaline, this makes your heart work faster, hypertension and even opens up your airways. Furthermore it releases more dopamine, and once the dopamine binds the dopamine reabsorption is not happening because caffeine blocks the way. This is the exact thing what cocaine does. Cocaine hydrochloride. Caffeine hydrochloride. Sounds similar too, right? Checkmate police. By the way, this is how coffee is addictive. Yes, coffee is a drug. Positive effects of caffeine. Number 1. Bronchodilation. Number 2. Improved mental and physical performance. Number 3. Stimulation. Number 4. Reduced boredom. Number 5. Mood Elevation. Negative Effects of Caffeine. Number 1. Hypertension. Number 2. Vasoconstriction. Number 3. Acute Dehydration. Number 4. Increased Heart Rate. Number 5. Jaw Tension. Number 6. Anxiety. Number 7. Insomnia. Caffeine drug time duration. Total time duration is 3 to 5 hours. Onset 5 to 30 minutes. Strong peak effects time 1 to 2 hours. Dear. Drug experts viewers. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video. And please take of yourself till we meet again.